What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we are doing another Pokemon opening. We did get our hands a little bit early on the Charizard EX boxes, so we're gonna do it open two boxes, gonna be 12 packs total, and we'll give our thoughts on the product. Uh, I did open it in advance because that's usually a bit of fiasco doing it on camera. Uh, so let's take a look at the promos. I'm guessing this is from one of the sets, probably like Obsidian Flames, but you do get hollow variants of Charmander, Charmeleon, and then the Charizard. Uh, it looks pretty nice. I, I feel like they're talking about there's going to be another shiny set. Actually, I guess it's not shiny, although these um, things kind of make it feel shiny. Uh, I don't think whatever upcoming shiny set is going to be a big deal. It feels like they're just rushing it. It's going to feel very uh, Shining Fates-like. Uh, one tip, uh, I do think this product is worth buying, getting one. I don't think the promos are going to be very expensive, even at PSA 10. And um, But if you do buy one at Target or Walmart, take a, just take a look at the promo. You can tell the centering, um, like the two in the background, the centering is off quite a bit. So I feel like getting a PSA 10 from you know Walmart Target should be pretty easy. And uh, this product is still on sale. You can uh, link down below to Game Nerds. I think they, they still have it uh, for $32 for a $40 product, although you only get six packs. It does come with some additional cool stuff. You get a little stand. And this is like one of those ultra pro, um, kind of like, what do they call it, like one touch magnets or something? Uh, I'm struggling to open it, but um, if you, if you, once you get your hands on it, it'll feel familiar. Oh, there you go. So you can kind of uh, put something in there. Um, you know, it's no big deal. Like those things are, I don't, I can't imagine they're expensive, uh, but it's different. Uh, we got some more sleeves here and the, I like how the art is different from like the card, but yeah, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. But I definitely think it is worth picking up one. Um, again, just take a look at it and then in on the shelf and get your PSA 10. All right, pack selection, Scarlet Violet Base, Paldea involved, and then Obsidian Flames. Uh, to be honest, after opening a bunch of 151, I'm like, all right, I guess we'll, we'll do an opening, but uh, I can't say I'm super <laughs> excited about any of this. Uh, we'll go in order of release. So we got 12 packs. Here we go. Scarlet Violet Base. I honestly do not remember what's in this set. I didn't open like a ton of products of the Scarlet Violet era. So yeah, honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll get maybe we'll be surprised. We got a Magneton, Drowsy. All right, we are not gonna get shutouts. We got a Bayonet EX. And when it comes to these kind of products, when you only get six packs, um, you know, I feel like 151, like those hit rates kind of apply and you can open six packs really easily and get nothing. Only I feel like it's a little less exciting. Oh, we got different code cards again. Uh, it's been a while. White code card, I'm guessing that's not good because we just got a hit. We got a Hypno into a Dedene to a Cloth. Okay. Messing up my piles. So yeah, for 40 bucks, I don't think the goodies are, you know, like if you want looking at that $5 per pack, um, you're definitely under or you're paying more, especially at MSRP. I guess that's the only thing about picking up at Target. So, you know, Game Nerds, there's a bunch of different sites that are offering it, you know, under $35. Um, link down below for game notes it does support the channel, but otherwise just Google it and you can find a vendor. Uh, but so, you know, buying it from a store, you're going to pay a little bit more, $40 for a box, but you can look at the centering, which, you know, I feel like the promo is the biggest thing about it and might as well get that PSA 10 while you're at it. But yeah, the addition, additional items is nice. Um, just to have one, but I don't definitely don't think it's worth having multiple ones. And you know, if you're talking about like a binder collection or something, I have to imagine like these off-center ones you can buy on TCG Player for very cheap in I don't know a week. And if I already guess, like this feels like a very good product. You know, it is a Charizard promo, nothing crazy, but it's very solid. I wonder if this is going to be one of those products that they're just going to keep printing, you know, Charizard UPC comes to mind and I actually going to guess that 151 UPC is going to be very similar 
as far as how many print runs and or how many times it gets reprinted. All right, we are into Paldea involved. I got some like, sticky stuff on my finger. So I, I feel like this always happens after a special set. Like this is not even a new set, but like the next product waves get a little, you know, underappreciated. It's just like, I don't know, 151 was so good. Oh, this is pretty cute. The tin, tin Dimas, a tad bulb and a Luxray. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen so all these Pokemon just from, yeah, 151. That was, that was, that says fun. Very difficult, but very fun. All right, I don't don't know what the different code cards is because we have not pulled anything good <laughs> since the first pack. Practice studio into a boss's order. Getsis, I do not remember you. All right, I'm guessing last Paldea evolved. At least, uh, let's go for another Charizard in the Obsidian Flames. I... What, how did I do in Obsidian Flames? I... Yeah, I've just been so absorbed into 151. I honestly don't remember <laughs> how we did. We got a Faulkner. All right, so we didn't get shut out. We did get a um, starter. Meow Scarada. Not the alt art, though, so... That is kind of like the, the bar for success. And so far, no alt arts. But yeah, in summary, solid product. Uh, I think it's worth having one. If you want to crack some packs, got some unique additional items. Nothing that's of crazy value uh, by any stretch of the imagination. And um, I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, just getting that PSA 10, just by looking at the promo, kind of get a good view of all three. That would be the primary reason I was just picking one up. Nose pass into a barboach, interesting art, into another Gita. Oh uh, yeah, we're back to kind of like booster box pull rates or regular set pull rates. Oh my gosh. All right, two packs remaining. Got a Cleffa to a Gumshoes. SQEX, you know, hit rate is actually quite good. Actually, I guess there's more like 10 plus nowadays for per box. Um, but, you know, definitely when you only have 12 random packs, getting shut out is not that uncommon. So successful opening, but nothing crazy. Definitely just happy to add these Charizards to the collection. Ooh, look at that. There's no way. I don't think this is an alt art slot, right? It's just a Crub Brawler. All right, last pack. I feel like I see something from the top. Ah, we got nothing. Clay doll. All right, that's going to do it. Um, yeah, this thing's kind of cool. Nothing special. In fact, I feel like the, uh, the like, Ultra Pro or whatever brand, it, it feels a little thinner than the other ones, but maybe they're all just getting thinner uh, just to sell more of them. The stand thing, I guess, is kind of cool, but obviously, you know, I'm more of like a slab person. But um, yeah, solid product overall. Definitely don't overspend. The only reason to pay MSRP is to look at the centering. Um, yeah, Game Nerds, other sites still have it about 32, 31, $32 before tax. So thanks for watching. As always, I'm Warner Turtle. Catch y'all next time. Peace.